From ABC News headquarters, this is World News. As more Americans lose their jobs, a clear sign of that growing unemployment can be found every weekday morning and afternoon on commuter roads. There has been a significant reduction of traffic jams. A new report shows rush hour congestion in the 100 largest cities in America has been reduced significantly. If you have a job, you can get there quicker. Here's Steve Osinsami. In Atlanta, where for years the freeways would suddenly turn into parking lots during rush hour, traffic congestion is suddenly down by 36%. Nice start to the rush hour, folks. No big interstate battles heading to downtown Atlanta. Xanthi Neal, a health care administrator, says she sees the difference every day. How much have you saved over the past year or two in time? Um, in, when I actually drive to work, I think that the drive is probably 10 or 15 minutes less than it used to be. Carlos Searcy, a state trooper, says right. he believes the roads opened up when the economy headed south. I think the cause has been um, the economy and um, more people working from home. And Atlanta is not alone. Since last year, traffic congestion is down 16% in Houston, 24% in Los Angeles, and down 25% in New York City. Some cities have even seen it drop off by 50% or more. That's meant clearer sailing from San Francisco. No delays getting through the tolls. To the boroughs of New York. It's not all that bad out there this morning, actually, to tell you the truth. These new figures were crunched by a company in Washington state that studies traffic. They found 600,000 drivers who agreed to carry GPS units, and they tracked their stops and starts over 800,000 miles of road. Across the country, the results were dramatic. Overall, a third less congestion and 3% fewer cars on the road since summer of last year. That's when high gas prices first spelled trouble. Also part of it is commercial traffic. Obviously, uh, a deteriorating economy means less vehicles on the road delivering freight, delivering product, and things like that. He believes the congestion will continue to ease for some time. The recession, he says, is ruling the roads. Steve Osinsami, ABC News, Atlanta.